Concord High, a nice and tranquil school in Concord. A school that everybody loves and praises. But what most people don't know is that Concord High is a bad school. There are so many things wrong with it, and I'm honestly surprised that it took this long for people to recognize this. If we go back to when Concord High was founded, we see that it was founded in 1966. That was almost 100 years ago. It took people 100 years to finally say something about this. But what makes the school so bad? You might be asking. Well, today I am here to tell you. So here's why Concord High is actually a, a really a really bad school. Reason number one, and, uh, my, and my only reason. Concord High has really bad nature. Now, in researching for this documentary, my group and I probably walked around the school almost uh, five times. And one of the things that we noticed each of those times were that there are no squirrels in Concord High. That's like, that's like what all schools need to have, are squirrels. Like, come on guys, this is high school 101. You need to have squirrels on campus at all times. How am I supposed to keep myself busy if there are no squirrels to look at? This is a classic example of bad high school nature. Now, in doing more research for this documentary, we asked Mr. Smith if he's seen any squirrels, uh, but Mr. Smith said that they were probably in hibernation. But that doesn't make any sense. Because we looked up on Google whether squirrels hibernate or not, and Google said no. So either the squirrels just don't like us, or like, like being filmed, or Mr. Smith was lying to us. But I think Mr. Smith was lying to us. Like seriously, it's like all the squirrels got word that Jaden and I need to film them, and then they all left. And we are at least 100% sure that Concord High had had squirrels at one point, because there are random holes in the ground. Now it's either that those are squirrel holes that squirrels made at one point, or Concord High has a really bad hole problem, which in my opinion, I think they really need to fix because they are kind of an eyesore. This is a lot of bullcrap, and I condemn Concord High for its disgusting lack of squirrels. Okay, now nature mistake number two. This one, this one really bothered me. It's really cold in Concord High. Referencing back to what I said earlier in the, in the documentary, in gathering evidence for this video, I probably walked around Concord High almost five times. And in those probably four times, I was cold every single time. Now, in the classrooms, this is not, a, not really a problem because I wear a jacket in the classrooms. But outside, it feels like it may as well be snowing. Oh, also, side note, these trees right here, they also smell really bad. Like, I probably walk by these trees at least like twice. And every time I walk by them, the smell was so pungent and horrid that I just had to like not be there anymore. These trees serve no purpose, and unlike these other trees which look nice, these trees are stinky and nasty, not like the other trees. These trees also have holes in them, which I don't even know what for, because there are no squirrels. Like seriously you guys, get it together, because Concord High is like 0-3 right now. Okay, now how can this problem be fixed? I had to figure this out. So my group and I, we went to Amazon and we looked up best perfume. And we saw one for $19.95. All it takes is $19.95 and one of our school's biggest problems will be solved. Also, I think this is good because if our trees smell nice, then we might get squirrels. And in my opinion, if we get the squirrels back, then we would solve most of Concord High's problems, which are the squirrels not being there. Nature mistake number three. There are too many seagulls. When my group and I were walking trying to find squirrels, we ran into not one, but four seagulls on the roof. And it doesn't help that these are probably some of the ugliest seagulls I've ever seen. Why couldn't we have gotten better looking seagulls? Like this one, or this one, or even this one. And I couldn't see it very well, but if you zoom in on this one, you can clearly see that there might be more seagulls. This is a problem because the seagulls are also really annoying. So how do we fix this, you might be asking. I did a little more digging, and I found myself at Amazon once again. On Amazon, you can purchase french fries for $9. So what I was thinking is if, uh, is if on top of spraying the perfume on the trees, we also put french fries in the trees, so that rather than eating the leftovers on the blacktop and like the quad and stuff, the seagulls will instead flock to the nice smelling trees. This will also add life to the trees, other than just making them smell nice. Uh, so that's what I think is wrong with Concord High, and me and my group were even nice enough to offer suggestions so we can make the school better. 
I honestly feel like our suggestions could only benefit Concord High and make it into a much better school.